A snoot is basically a way of, of taking all of the light that comes out of your strobe and narrowing it down into a very small beam. Uh, in this case, the beam is about the diameter um, of a dime, uh, maybe an inch across or so. Snoots can be made, I've seen them made out of wetsuit sleeves or you can buy them commercially. But the problem with the snoot in a macro situation like this is that if your subject moves, it's virtually impossible to make sure you're hitting them with that little pencil beam while you're focusing through the lens. It's, it's almost impossible. Most of the better snoot work that you've seen out there is done with a stationary subject so that you can put a slave light on a small tripod. So the tripod's not moving, the light is not moving and the animal's not moving. Uh, and then you can pick up your camera and focus and shoot and play with your settings. Well, with a shrimp, that's not gonna work because he's, he won't hold still. So what we did here is a friend of mine helped me do this. It took us a solid half hour and about 60 shots to get this angle, but essentially he was on the other side of the anemone and above it holding the light and just all he was doing was making sure that the light stayed like a spotlight on the shrimp that allowed me to go down low uh, and shoot through the tentacles creating this unusual lighting where the only thing that's really lit well is the animal itself and everything around in the frame isn't being touched by the light because it's coming in from behind and the side